As harsh as the title of this video is, you clicked on it for some reason, right? So let's not waste any time and jump into actionable ways for you to actually improve your style. These ideas can be extrapolated for both business and casual environments. They work for men and women. And by the end of this video, I guarantee there is one concept that you can take away from this video that'll actually help you improve your style. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew What It Do. It's nice to meet you. Let's improve your style. The biggest culprit that I've observed from people who believe that they don't have great style is their clothes don't fit them properly. The way an item of clothing fits is unarguably the most important factor to having a baseline for good style. When something doesn't fit, it does two things. First, it subconsciously changes the way in which you move in the clothing. Confidence and proper fitting clothing is linked, meaning inversely timidness or a lack thereof of confidence is often also linked with improper fitting garments how can you make sure your clothes fit you properly well the easiest way to make sure your clothes fit is to measure yourself yourself measure yourself <laughs> well, the easiest way to make sure your clothes fit is to measure yourself measuring yourself properly only takes about three minutes at most but it saves you in reverse a lifetime of headaches when it comes to fashion and clothing the most important measurements for pants or bottoms include waist hips for women in particular inseam which is from the crotch down to the ankle and then understanding how you want your pants to fit wide fitting pants give off a much different look than tapered fitting pants or boot cut pants but even more important than the fit of the pants is knowing your measurements it's so crucial for having a baseline for good style there are tons and tons of tutorials both on youtube and just online that guide you step by step through how to take measurements on your body I use a tape measure, I've advocated for using a tape measure in the past, and once you have those measurements, make sure to keep them somewhere safe. I just keep mine in the notes app on my phone, and whenever I go to buy something, whether it's online or in store, I look at the notes app on my phone, I make sure that the measurements on the garment match up with the measurements on my body, and then if I can, I try the piece on and I go from there. The second factor for your clothes not fitting and the effects on your personal style is a pretty obvious one. When your clothes don't fit, it makes your outfit look both sloppy and unimportant. This plays out in the corporate world just as much as it plays out in day-to-day -day life. We all notice the people in our lives that take care of themselves, who sit up straight, who talk clearly, and who smell good. Inversely, we all notice the people in our lives who don't put effort into their appearance and decorum. The late great fashion icon Andre Leon Talley once said, it's a moral code to dress well. I think that is undeniably true. There is one final component to making sure that your clothes fit you. It's understanding your body type. The conversation around body type and fashion is a bit of a touchy subject, but I think intrinsically we all understand it. I'll kind of summarize it in this way. If you have shorter legs, for example, there are certain pants and certain tops that will emphasize your particular physique. If you have a bit of a more bulky figure, or maybe you're wider on the hips or skinnier and wider in different areas of your body, there are certain styles of clothing that you will prefer over others because they accentuate your body type better. It's difficult for me to get into the weeds about every single body type in a format of a video like this, but there is one important rule that I think that you can take with you. That rule is the more timeless of an item of clothing is, the more likely you will look good in it, regardless of body shape and body type. In both menswear and womenswear, timelessness typically airs on the side of the most classic items within a particular genre or niche. For some genres, it means that you're wearing more simplistic colors, maybe you're wearing more collar tops or dress shoes. For a corporate environment, maybe that's what that applies to for something like streetwear or something else. Maybe it's a particular style of shoe that a lot of people agree is a classic or a timeless item within that genre. Whatever niche of fashion that you're in, there are going to be items that pertain to timelessness within that niche. And then of course, overarchingly, there are items that on a societal level, we all agree are more timeless than other items. For example, meta-modern timelessness, meaning the timelessness of the current moment, is rooted in things such as simplistic makeup, straight leg jeans, and tamed footwear. To reiterate, 
clothes that don't fit you don't look good to improve your style improve the way that the clothes fit you let's move on next bit of advice that i want to give you that i know will improve your style is start simple and then move towards more complicated items of clothing if you're just getting started in your fashion journey don't overcomplicate things. In my opinion, the best way to get started with fashion is to start with simple, basic clothing. And the reason why I think this is the best, unless you have a really, really strong interest point within the fashion industry that's pulling at you and making you more and more enveloped in whatever that genre of fashion is, if you're a blank slate, just start with the basics. What are the basics in fashion? This differs from opinion to opinion, but here's my stance on it. For casual outfits, start with a simple pair of jeans. Levi's is a great entry level option. The Levi's 501 is one of the most iconic pair of jeans to ever be released. That would be my initial recommendation. 501s are a great straight leg jean. They can be bought new, they can be bought online. There are tons and tons and tons of resources about learning and acquiring about 501s. I think they're an awesome starting point for jeans if you want something a bit more formal then i would start with a simple black pair of trousers from my personal experience i just started with a cheap pair of dickies 874s which are by no means the kind of creme de la creme when you think about formal black trousers while not specifically for extremely formal events the pleated work trouser by dickies has served me for many dates and semi-formal occasions other simple basics include a plain white t-shirt for layering maybe a wife pleaser tank top or wife beater if you're into that kind of style and a proper set of dress shoes these items as i mentioned before are the timeless items that are a great reference point for getting into fashion now it's important to mention that personal style is developed much differently than just getting into the basics of fashion that comes a little bit towards the middle of the road in your fashion journey and maybe some of these products or brands that i've showcased don't really resonate with you at all and that's great because at least you know what you like and what you don't like or at the very least you know what you don't like and you can start moving towards what you like and begin developing your personal style personal style is all about doing what interests you and what flows out of you in terms of your internal expression maybe you like vintage dresses or corsets maybe you're into skinny jeans rather than straight leg jeans or maybe you're more into leather goods that's fantastic i still think that this rule can be applied to you no matter what niche of fashion that you're into, start simple within your genre and work your way up. Your style will thank you. Let's get a word in for today's sponsor, Squarespace. Are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project? Squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to make the website that you've always dreamed of. If you want to sell your products direct to consumer or if you just want to display your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and all of my social media platforms. And if you need a design to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash Drew Joyner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I truly consider myself to be a student of YouTube and a student of internet culture and online culture. And what I've observed over the past few months is this influx in glow up videos and glow up content, sometimes coined as hot girl summer for women and for men on TikTok specifically, knowing how to dress a bit quote unquote slutty. One of the ways I've synthesized this information in terms of attempting to help you improve your style is with this next piece of advice, which is understanding how to take care of your hair and your scent. I have almost never talked about grooming on this channel. Well, at least not in this way. And I think that one of the simplest ways to improve your style and fashion is to make sure your hair is maintained to a certain standard as well as making sure you smell good. The hair component is actually a big deal in the style department. There is no objectively better hairstyle, but this is what I've observed. Longer hair for men tends to be viewed as more youthful and stylish, whether that be locks, curls, mullets, twists, or any variant of neatly kept long hair. For women, there seems to be more leeway than men and more options. From short hair, curly hair, buns, straightened hair, find your muse and take care of your hair. 
Now, if you happen to not have hair, or like me, your hair just doesn't grow as long as some of these styles, don't fret. There are really easy ways to keep your hair maintained while having short hair. I like to shave down the sides of my head and keep the hair on top of my head, which gives the appearance that I have more hair than I probably actually do. Maybe you like a close buzz cut of some sort. These things are all preference based at the end of the day. But overall, they do matter when it comes to confidence and style. Now for scent. I don't want to get into elaborate detail about this for now, but it's simple. Before you step outside your home, use deodorant and a bit of cologne or perfume. It's that simple, but it goes a very long way. The last bit of advice that I have for you in this video is document your style journey. You know how people document themselves on their weight loss journey by taking photo after photo week in and week out to see the progress that they've made through the course of 52 weeks? They do that just to see how far they've come, right? We should all have a reference point from where our style was to where it currently is now and where it is headed for the future. This doesn't mean posting on social media though. It's as simple as taking one photo of yourself before you decide to go hang out with friends if you feel like your outfit is looking really good. Or just taking a simple quick photo if you feel like the outfit that you've crafted for yourself to step out into the world with is a good outfit. As small as this tip may seem, compounded over months and over years, you'll truly see how much you've changed from a personal style standpoint. It's so fun to look back on old photos and just be like, that's how I used to dress? Okay, I'm so much better now. Or, oh man, that's a cool photo I took way back when. I, I, could, I should incorporate some of those aspects of my outfit that I used to do into outfits that I do now. Things like that. It's I think it's just net positive all around. By documenting your style journey, you'll have proof of your improvement. And that's really big. If this video helped you out in any way, feel free to subscribe. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you for me. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto, which means see you soon. Peace.